Okay, I'm at LPSC 2014, and with me is Bill Botke, who you'll recognise for, for some other videos. Uh, Bill, I mean, we've <laughs> both been at talks about moon formation this mm. week, and it seems to me that there's still no consensus about how the moon formed. I mean, what do you say? Well, there's a, there's a few things to keep in mind. So the first thing to keep in mind is that we have some powerful constraints on what it takes to make the moon. The moon is very different from the Earth in terms of its bulk iron. It has a very small iron core. Its total fraction of iron is very different from the Earth. And so that tells us something about how it was created. The second issue is we have uh, knowledge of the angular momentum of the system, basically how fast the Earth is rotating, how what the orbit is of the moon around the Earth, and how we use that. And so when we use these models, we've tried to come up with ways to uh, understand how the moon might have formed. And several models for years suggested that the easiest way to make the moon was to have a giant collision on the Earth. Okay, so you had something maybe the size of Mars hitting the Earth, and the model suggested that was a great way to fulfill the two constraints I described, the lack of iron in the moon, and the fact that you have this angular momentum you have to reach. Now what happened uh, over the last few years is many uh, people that do geochemistry, so they study the lunar samples, they study Earth samples and the rest, they're finding that the Earth and moon are really, really, really similar to one another. And the problem is, is that the models we've been using to make the moon suggest that the moon should look a lot like the thing that hit the Earth. So we think that object, or we call it the projectile, should have been different from the Earth. But yet the Earth and the moon are very, same, are very much the same. So this has forced uh, the field to go into turmoil. So now we're trying to figure out the way forward. We still think we need a giant impact, but it could be we need more powerful impacts, we might need um, different kinds of impacts, and we also may need to understand some of the things that happen in the disk that ends up making the moon. And how this is gonna turn out, no one knows so far. And so it's very exciting and dynamic, and we'll maybe know the answer next year, or maybe not for several years. Yeah, I mean, that's the exciting thing about science, is it? How, how things keep changing, but I was at a talk a couple of days ago, which suggested a sequence of giant impacts which built up the moon stage by stage. Does that make sense to you? It's an interesting possibility. I think that in a model like that, you have a lot of things you have to overcome. That means you have a number of small events, and they all have to add up to make the right angle momentum for the system. You have to make the right size moon. You can't make three moons, because we don't have three moons today. And you have to get the, the, the chemistry, the isotopic, or I'll say the, you know, the, the, the interesting things that are the same on the moon and the same on the Earth, you have to make those identical. And in a model like that, the question is, can you do all those things? Okay. In fact, all these models that have been suggested to fix our problems, ultimately, does need a number of events which don't have very high probability. So it's kind of like, you know, you flip a coin and you get a, you know, there's a 50-50 chance and it comes on one side or the other. And imagine you had to flip like four times it had to be heads in a row or five times it had to be heads in a row or 10 times it had to be heads in a row. That's kind of the way these models are going. They can work, but you need to hit heads many, many, many times. And so it seems like we're missing something important and we don't know what the answer is going to be. And that's what makes us, that's what makes us a fun problem. What are we missing? Maybe there's something fundamental that's still out there that maybe we'll find or maybe someone young coming in the field will find. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Bill. Sure. Cheers.